Hi everyone, Cobweb Rose here, and today I thought we would talk sleep system. So what am I bringing with me on the Appalachian Trail? I'm a very, very cold sleeper, so everything that you see me bringing is geared towards me staying as warm as possible when I'm sleeping at night outside. So the bottom layer for my sleep system is gonna be this Gossamer Gear, just one eighth inch foam pad. The thing weighs practically nothing. And it'll keep my sleeping pad and my sleeping bag from sliding around at night, as well as add an extra layer of insulation um, to keep me warm from the ground, which can get pretty cold at night. Next layer up is gonna be my REI Flash All Seasons pad. I actually love this pad. I think it's an R. Four. I want to say it's an R4 and I've had this thing for a hot second but it works so no reason to replace it. It's got these really handy very flat deflate tab and inflate tab and I'm not sure if I lost the pull tie to one of them but only one of them has it which works fine for me. <laughs> There we go. And last but not least, the final layer that goes on top is my Mountain Hardware Women's Bishop Pass Zero Sleeping Bag. This is a pull down sleeping bag and it is super, super warm. It's a mummy style bag, so it is a little bit heavier because I've got a full toe box, I've got a full back to the bag, and then of course a full hood to it as well. This bag also comes with this like chin shield, I guess it is. Um, but basically it's just an extra layer of padding to help keep in the warmth once you're inside the bag. This bag also has a nice little pocket in it so I can stick my phone in there or my water filter in a bag or my headlamp um, or just anything that I need to keep where I can actually reach it. You like the sleeping bag, don't you Riley? You slept in here with me before. Yeah, you did. <laughs> So it's just something that's really, really cozy. And as a bonus, the glow in the dark zipper, so it's easier to get in and out. Um, there's also a zipper on the inside as well. And this bag is absolutely fantastic and I love it. And I'm actually debating if I want to keep this bag not only for the winter, but also for the summertime as well. Um, but it is gonna be pretty hot in the summertime, I think. So I have an additional sleeping bag that I can have my husband send to me to kind of shed some of the weight from this down bag. So what am I bringing in the summertime? I have a Sea to Summit thermal liner. Um, should I need it for colder nights during the summertime or if I want to use it as my actual bag instead of using a sleeping bag in the summertime. I also have this REI Magma Trail Quilt. This is a 20 degree bag. Um, this thing is actually really nice. This is the sleeping quilt that I started out the trail with, but found out it was far too cold for very cold nights. Um, thus the Bishop Pass Zero as my winter bag. But this summer bag is really nice and obviously it has the straps to go around my sleeping pad to make sure that the bag doesn't slide around overnight. And then I also have where I can clip the top together if I want to stay extra warm at night. Um, but this is a really nice bag and it does weigh significantly less than my Bishop Pass Zero bag. So I think this is going to be the game plan for my summer quilt. And last but not least, I have a Sea to Summit pillow. This is like the medium size, I think, um, pillow. It's got a nice little like, like U shape in it so that it fits your head a little bit better. I would actually got a different pillow to try for the Appalachian Trail, but it was, I think it was a Nemo pillow, but the inflate deflate tab actually stuck out like an inch from the pillow. So I was awkwardly and very randomly deflating my pillow in the middle of the night without meaning to do it. So I reverted back to my original Sea to Summit inflatable pillow. This has a flat inflate and deflate tab on it. So there's no chance of me accidentally opening the tab and ending up with my head on the ground at night. Um, but this can either go under or inside my sleeping um, bag, depending on how I'm feeling and how cold it is outside. 
All right, and that is my sleep system for the Appalachian Trail. And I can't wait for the trip to start. And I hope you guys will follow along with me. If you like this video or if you have any questions, please hit the subscribe button. Feel free to comment below. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.